Can you tell me the importance Segura played in the 20th century illustration? Okay. For me, Segreus is the most important fantasy artist of the early 20th century. Uh, he is easily the finest fantasy artist that Spain ever produced. Uh, in England and the United States, we became aware of Segreus' work through the Illustrated London News and through some of the American magazines that he illustrated. And I think he had a, a tremendous impact. But it was especially an artist named Roy Crankle, who was a collector of fantastic art, who introduced many of the American artists to Segreus' work. He introduced Frank Frazetta to Segreus' work. He introduced Al Williamson. Al Williamson, in turn, introduced me to Segreus' work. And from the moment I saw it, I knew I had to try to collect every piece I could find. And so, uh, the first two books that Al showed me were uh, his Arabian Nights books. And I looked for 20 years for the, those two books, and I actually, by sheer coincidence, happened to find them in the same week. I found the volume from the 1930s in Portugal, and I found the volume from the 1950s in Argentina. I was able to purchase them. In the meantime, I was acquiring his works. Uh, I was making a film in Madrid called uh, Conan el Bávaro, and it was there that I purchased the big two-volume Don Quixote set. Mm -hmm. And ever since I discovered Segreus' work, I have been exposing American artists to his work to get them excited about his work. So by proxy, uh, his work has uh, become an influence on many American artists. So he's an extraordinary artist. I consider him one of Spain's greatest artists along uh, the beautiful line of the maestros of Spanish art, uh, Goya, Velázquez, Segreus, is for me, only small, in, in, muy, so very important. Question, how does, um, how does, does he influence the modern illustrators? Well, it, it's in some ways, the modern illustrators are influenced by Segreus because they are influenced by the people that Segreus influenced. For instance, many illustrators are influenced by Frank Frazetta, the American artist, uh, but they don't realize that Frazetta was influenced by Segreus, so they are getting Segreus' influence secondhand. And I'm, I'm hoping that will change as the rest of the world gets more exposure to Segres' work. That's one of the reasons this exhibition is so important. I, I hope that uh, eventually an exhibition like this will get to travel. I think it would be extremely popular in, in America and in England. And uh, it, it shows the unique qualities of Segres as an artist. He is really, for me, like no other artist. There's, he is, stands alone in his mastery of art his, his design, his drafting ability, his color, his composition, and his great ideas. Okay. Well, um, we know that we are a great storyteller, or what stories can you tell us, um, tiny one? Oh, uh, uh, Whatever you want to say. Sure, okay, let me see. Oh, uh, for many years, uh, friends of mine have been saying, Bill, you need to meet Guillermo del Toro. He's a, a fantastic uh, filmmaker, and you and Guillermo have so much in common, and because we have many friends that are the same. Mm -hmm. Finally, at uh, Comic-Con International in San Diego, uh, each year there, uh, the director, Frank Darabont, who did uh, Shawshank Redemption, uh, he hosts a dinner with all his favorite artists, and sometimes a few directors and he was hosting a dinner that year and Guillermo del Toro was part of the dinner and I, I sat opposite Guillermo and we immediately hit it off and, and became friends and he came by my booth the next day and, and bought some pictures and he said uh, would you mind delivering the pictures to my home I said not at all I'd be happy to and that was when he offered me the chance to work on Pan's Labyrinth with him and in the middle of our conversation about working on Pan's Island, he got a telephone call. 
and I could hear my end and, and Guillermo would say, see, si, see, si, yes, oh, oh, thank you very much, thank you very much, but no, 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 I need to make my little Spanish film now. And after he hung up, I said, Guillermo, what was that about? He says, oh, that was Warner Brothers, they just offered me Harry Potter. And I said, wow, he turned down Harry Potter to make Pan's Labyrinth. And for me, that impressed me so much, that mm -hmm. told me the integrity that, that Guillermo had. And I was the first person to show Guillermo Jose Segres' work. I bought a copy of the Illustrated London News with the Edgar Allan Poe mm -hmm. illustrations and showed those to Guillermo and gave him that magazine. And he just, I could see his eyes light up. And from that moment on, he began to pursue Segres' work and collect it. And I saw a picture later where he was holding the, the Don Quixote volumes with a big smile on his face. Thank you, Mr. Stout. Oh, you are. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me here at this exhibition in Valencia. You're your beautiful city, your people with, with such big hearts. It's been fantastic.